welcome to adding Gogo Loco onto your avatar. Okay, so we're gonna use this version of Gogo Loco, which is the superior one, if you ask me. I'll, I'll put the link in the description, or if I'm putting it on my Discord, I'll just put the link next to the video, okay? So go to this white zero here, and then you add it to cart and buy it. It's, it costs nothing. After you've done that, download it. There you go. Now we have a WinRAR. You want to extract the WinRAR like that. And then here we have the Unity package. <clears throat> now, I already have a uh, an avatar that I made here. It's going to be on Gumroad soon. And uh, we need to add Gogo Loco to it. Now the finished version, I'm saying right now, it's not going to have Gogo Loco in it. Because people probably are going to remove it. But this is why I'm making this tutorial. So, what you want to do is you want to pull in the unit package in here. So that's what we're going to do. There you go. Click import. And bam, we have Gogo here. So we open Gogo. We open the local part. We go to... Now this part is depending on the avatar, right? So if you click on the avatar in the hierarchy... And then you go to FX controller. It might not be in animated. It might not. It might just be down here. You click on the FX controller. You open it, and then up here, you should see the hand gestures, or like just the base layer. Usually, it should be here, and it should say if it has right default on the hand gestures. Okay, if it has it, then we're going for the W file, WD files for Gogo Loco. If not, we're going for the one that doesn't have WD at the end. Now, if you use the wrong one, it's not the end of the world. You just literally go into Unity again and replace it with other ones. So we're going to go to... Uh, where am I? There I am. Okay, Google Loco. Loco. Then Controllers. Now, I went to the wrong one. We want to go to the WD one, since this one has a right default on. Then we click on the... I have... A, I can't speak, sorry. Uh, then we click on the avatar in the hierarchy. We scroll down until we see base, action, and sitting. Now we click on all these. Oh, maybe we, there you go. We click on all of them so that we can just drag it in there. So first we have the base. That's up there. You just drag the corresponding ones from the controller here. Then action. Now if you already have an action controller here, it's not the whole end of the world. It's not like, it's not bad. I don't think you need this actually. On the avatar, if you don't like, if you already have an action controller, so you don't need to put that there. And everything should still work. I think it's for something specific that most people don't use, anyways. And then sitting here, there you go. Put it, drag it to sitting. Everything in the corresponding place. Now the gesture one, we don't really care about. Like no one ever cares about them. It doesn't do anything really. It's basically just the hand gestures. Now after you've done this. You want to go down here to the expression parameters or whatever it's called on your avatar. Double click on it here to quickly open it. There you go. Now we have this place. Now, if uh, the expression parameters don't have VRC emotes here, then you want to add it. But what we're going to do is want to go back to the Google Loco here. And WD. Oh, no, that's the controller, sorry. We want to go to... Uh... Fuck, where is it? Hold on. I am actually tripping right now. Menus, there you go. And then we have parameters here. We have go all parameters. We double click on it. Oh, we just click on it once and then it brings it up here on the side. Now, usually you want to probably take a screenshot of this because we're going to copy these values and write them into the parameters of your avatar. So I'm going to do just that, okay? There you go. Now we have a screenshot of it. So now we click on avatar again, we click on parameters, and then here we click add. Now when you add something, it's going to duplicate the bottom one always. Uh, that's fine, you just replace anything in here. There you go, so now we have this one here. The first one is VRC emote, that one was at the top here, right there, so we don't need to add that one. Then we have go slash float. Now keep in mind that these are case sensitive, so you have to write a big G, and a big F right there. Otherwise it doesn't work, it just gives you an error. 
So we're going to do that, go float, well, go forward slash float. There you go. And then it's a float value. And then it's at 0 0.25. And then after that, we have go stationary. Once again, it's case sensitive, so keep that in mind. Go stationary. Now this one's a boolean value, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's a bool. All of the rest of the ones are bools, okay? So go slash locomotion is the next one. I'm just going to click twice here so we can just don't have to scroll up again. Go locomotion. And then I know that the next one is jump and fall. Now, you got to keep in mind here as well that these default and save values. Now, save just means that it saves in between world changes or instance changes. So if you have something on there, then it change, uh, saves it, I think. So the stationary part is not saved and it's not on default either. That means it is on when you load in the avatar by default. So we turn off the default on all of these and turn off the saved on the stationary one. Now we're almost done. We just gotta go to the avatar again, go to the menu. Now here is where people fuck up a lot of times when they make tutorials on this. They used to say that you drag in the Google Loco menu, which you can definitely do. It works for if you wanna use only Google Loco. But uh, we're going to use the go all menu here, right? Now, when when they used to drag it in there, should I do it? Uh, if I just control set, it's fine. If I drag it in there, there you go. And then I press play here to like see the avatar. And because uh, I have gesture manager downloaded. So I can see the toggles before I go into game. There you go. If I look at the avatar now, the menu is just Gogo Loco. My menu is gone completely. So let's just go back here and Control Z. Did it Control Z back? Yeah, okay, now we have the menu again. Okay, good. Um, open it and Control Z back too far. It's fine, though, it's fine. I'm sorry this menu, uh, this uh, tutorial is a bit messy, but I'm just going through all the stuff so you don't have to look for things after it. So now we have the menu back, right? This is the menu that the avatar has that I made. We want to keep that menu. Now, if you don't have a slot open in the menu, all you have to do is double click here on the menu to just quickly get to it. It will show up here as well when you click on it as uh, like a yellow mark around it. Now, this is the menu. We want to click add control. If this one is grayed out, that means you have eight, I think is the maximum. You already have eight menus. So you want to find a something with a sub menu you want to open that submenu and add it in there instead. Do the exactly same steps that we're doing right now. So you're going to click Add Control. Now here we can name this whatever we want. I'm going to name it Go, Go, Goosey Mode. Then we want to make it into a submenu because it's a submenu, you know. Duh. And then we click here on the plus sign here to open this little thing. Then we search for Go, Go. Oh no, it's go, sorry. And then go all menu. Not main menu, but go all menu. Now you cl double click on it, and then it's selected here. Now we can double click on this one if we want. And then here we go, we get to this place. And it also opens up here. This is where it's stored in the go go loco thing that we pulled in before. Now what I like to do is I like to literally just write pose there, because these are HTML. Uh, code and sometimes it doesn't really work properly in game and it just makes everything float in a strange way so let's remove the name there uh, this one is no name because they all have icons anyway so it doesn't really matter then this one is a button for absolutely nothing icon is empty okay I think we can remove this one but I can, I'm gonna keep it anyways Actually, you know what? Let's remove it. I know there is one menu that is just empty when you get into game. Okay, now we have these are done. 
everything should be done now. Now we can just test it out here. We don't have to get into game to test it out because I have gesture manager here. We click on it, we go to scene. And then here we have the avatar, we click here. And then we have go, go, goosey mode here. We click on it, we get into the sub menu. We go to pose and let's just make her sit down. There you go, see it works. That's all you have to do. Literally all you have to do. It takes like five minutes when you're just like doing it yourself. And we can do all the other ones as well. Everything works fine. There you go. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this one helped. And I'll see you guys another time. And also this avatar is going to be out on Gumroad. I don't know when. Probably a week or two after this video. So uh, check it out. I'll put a link for that in the description as well once it's up. Uh, you guys have a great day and uh, Merry Christmas.